It was a beautiful Valentine's Eve all throughout Northeast Michigan. We saw temperatures finally rebound into those 40s early this afternoon, but right now that sunset has already occurred. It's falling back into those 30s, but still above freezing. 36 in Rogers City and Alpena, 37 from Onaway all the way down to Mayo and 38 from West Branch to Oscoda. And you can thank that southerly flow today for that bounce back, mostly coming out of the southwest between around 10 miles per hour. But going into the next couple of days, especially with Valentine's Day tomorrow, it will be somewhat of a messy one for Valentine's Day. You're going to be dealing with some snow thanks to a cold front that's going to be coming in. Accumulations between 1 to 3 inches tomorrow. And it's mostly going to be in the late afternoon into the evening hours. So if you are planning to go have dinner with that special someone, keep that in mind to slow down on those roads and also get there on time and maybe want to leave a little bit early. But by Wednesday, it will be a thing of the past. But looking at the radar today, though, High pressure in control, very little uh, clouds whatsoever. So it was a very spectacular Monday. And that's pretty much a precursor of things that we're going to see later on this week. But here's what we're going to be for tomorrow. 38 degrees, snow showers increasing, especially by the evening with those winds out of the west at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Closer look into your Valentine's Day. Sunset occurs at 6.01 p.m. 50% chance of snow by the afternoon, eventually up to 60% in the evening, and those temperatures also falling into those low 20s. But going into the next seven days, we're going to enjoy a good amount of high pressure, bringing a lot of blue skies all throughout the Wolverine state. And temperatures are eventually going to rise from those 20s on Wednesday and Thursday, eventually into those 40s this weekend. So do take advantage of the outdoors this upcoming weekend because it is going to be beautiful and it's well, well deserved.